What's up people on YouTube? This time I'm going to take you a little bit of a look at Freddy Fish, which is a game I used to play when I was a little kid. It's a point and click adventure game, sort of, for kids of course. And I'm drinking some root beer, which is good. Well, keep in mind this is an educational slash kids game, so keep that in mind while you watch the opening and the rest of this game. Is this your thing, Freddy? Well, now that I've abridged the beginning a little bit, this is a point and click adventure game where you can pretty much click anything you want. And it's gonna pretty much do weirdo animations and stuff. It's kinda cool. Hello, Freddy. I'm so worried about the kelp scene. I'll find your treasure chest, Grandma Grouper. Good luck, Freddy. Don't worry, Grandma Grouper. Well, yep, yeah. your grandma has lost the kelp seeds, now everybody's gonna starve. So that's the point of this game, you're supposed to find the kelp seeds. So, yep, the bad guy sharks, those morons, left bottles all over the place to help them find the treasure where they left it. So you gotta find all the bottles to find the, the kelp seeds. And the enemies are the stupid, stupid sharks, which you'll see here in a moment. I mean, like, right now. Maybe somebody else found the toys! Maybe somebody else found it first! Of course someone else found it first, you sponges! Come on, we gotta find that bottle! Oh, we're shark bait! But boys, we are sharks! Freddy! Luther! I'm stuck under this rock! Please help me! So let's cut further into the game so you can see... Freddy. Some actual like point and click gameplay here. This is a 90s. I think it's from the 90s, pretty sure, late mid 90s, something like that. Um, in this game, there's not much of a challenge because you can't. There's not really a way that you can die. In fact, there is no way you can die. It's just click stuff until you get it right. Which I like that because you know it's sort of mm, easier for a change. So this game runs on the Scum engine. I'm pretty sure it's used in multiple other point-and-click type adventure games, but I know what comes to mind right now. Yeah, I'm not very um, research heavy on these videos, whatever. Just throw them together. This game takes about a half hour to beat. I have about, let's see here, about 28 minutes of footage from beating the whole game. And speaking of beating the whole game, like, I don't really see much point in not spoiling it since, you know, it's, it's a little kid's game. You're gonna win. You can't lose, so why not? Well, if you can't find that treasure chest, you're gonna have to answer to the squid, father. Please, boy! It's not the squid, father! 
I'll clear him up, Spongehead! So this game is runs straight off the CD-ROM drive. You don't have to install anything, which is pretty much what I'm doing here. Just take the CD drive, CD drive, and I'm uh, playing it. It hardly ever accesses the um, hard disk while playing it, which is kind of interesting. The graphics are really nice. I like the I like the art style. I like the I like the backgrounds are really nice. And I like the animation too. I just like the whole thing about this. I wish I could frame it. Or a shell that doesn't glow. The music's pretty memorable to me. I don't, I don't know about anybody else, but to me, because I used to play this a lot when I was a kid. Um, the voice acting is sort of iffy, but you know, it's a kid's game, so whatever. Here, Freddy. Maybe you can use this yeah, it's a kid's shell. game. Thank you, Herman. Good night. Now, if anybody remembers this game or switches it up on YouTube, you should be able to recognize this part because somewhere along the way you're going to watch uh, some like childhood memory wrecking video where if you change a bit of the data on the CD, if you have it like on an ISO or something, you can um, activate unintended an animations that were made by the programmers but weren't put in the game because, you know, they're not really kid friendly. Where Freddy actually pushes Luther towards the eel and Luther gets eaten by the eel. Yeah. Thanks. So now this is the final part of the game, where it has this final little area that you can go into, but it's separate from all the other areas. It's sort of the same throughout all the Freddy Fish games, and sometimes the Putt Putt games. All humongous entertainment child point and click adventure games that I like, you know. So now this is the ending part of the game. I'll sort of abridge it a little bit to save time since this is going 11 minutes. I only get under 10 minutes, so yeah, yeah. This hour has like a, a sharing moral to it. You know, there's always gotta like be like some sort of moral to little kid games. Don't you find the treasure, boys? I forgot to mention also there's like a math game in it and sort of like a fall follow like the marble under the cup style game, you know, if you have three cups and you got marble under one, you can switch them around and fall it. Yeah, little mini games like that sometimes scattered throughout the games. I really don't know what the sharks want kelp for since they are um, carnivores. Okay. I'm so 
sound of his voice. Why don't we go inside so you can tell me all about your adventure? So luckily my camera died right at the end of this, so I didn't die in the middle of it. Thanks for watching the video and have a nice day, people.